What's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna be looking at the Wing Riders decks on Cardano and we're gonna see what's the difference between other decks such as Sunday Swap or Mint Swap. So first, if you go to wingriders.com, this is gonna be their main page. Then you can enter app or join their Discord. And then right here, first thing we're gonna be able to see that they have already 16 million of ADA of total liquidity. Then if we scroll down, here's a couple things, just little features you can do quick and cheap swaps and then one of the things that sunday swap or min swap is not offering at the moment so if you're going to be providing liquidity besides the lp tokens you're also going to be receiving staking rewards so provide liquidity for any cardano native tokens while staking your ada so nobody at the moment is offering this feature and then fly earn on a platform for supporting ecosystem and its projects and then you can see right here roadmaps and then if we scroll down more you can join their discord right here and then you can see right here who actually believe in this company or sort of their sponsors or partnership and as you can see one of the main ones is c fund this is charles hoskinson fund so he's actually invested into this specific project and then partners milkometer flint and other ones and then you can scroll down more and then you can see all of their social media right here Let's scroll up really quick and let's start using the app. So press enter app. Then this window is gonna appear. First thing we need to do, we need to connect our wallet, press on connect wallet, then choose wallet. I'll be using Namey for this video tutorial. And then press on access here. And that's it. Now we're connected to our wallet. So first, there's a couple options here. First tab is swap. So we can swap tokens here from ADA to something else. And I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. And then pools. This is where you can actually provide liquidity. Also, this is very first decks that actually add stable coins such as USDT and USDC. And then if you decide to provide liquidity, you just press add liquidity. Then you need to choose exactly which liquidity you're providing. So for example, if you're providing Cardano and dana or something else you have to provide equals value of cardano and other token and in this video i'm not going to be providing liquidity i already made a video how to provide liquidity on MinSwap. this is basically going to be same process you provide liquidity you provide a pair such as cardano and then other token and then you'll get lp tokens and that's what you're going to be actually staking then we can close this here and then if we click on portfolio if we would provide any liquidity that would show up in our portfolio then staking same thing no liquidity or ADA otherwise it would show some data here and then farming this is interesting they are taking a little different approach so right here the way they are rewarding instead of start rewarding immediately the rewards going to be keep happening every epoch and also this is how many tokens they are allocating i'm assuming that's per epoch and i'm not sure exactly how the token is going to be calculated and if you are actually thinking about providing liquidity to wing riders i would recommend reading this article right here and i'm going to leave a link in the description below this is basically liquidity rewards and stable coins i'm not going to go into details but like i stated earlier if you decide to provide liquidity read this through that way you'll understand exactly how you're going to be able to provide and how you're going to be able to claim your rewards because they're taking different approach and then if we scroll up right here then there's going to be governance coming soon and then nft but this is looks like third party applications nft platform or marketplace so i'm going to go back to swap and then right here i'm going to choose ada because that's what i have in my wallet and let's choose some kind of token and i'm going to choose copy token then right here we need to set the amount or we can press on max i'm just gonna use five cardanos and for five cardanos i'm gonna get 48 copy tokens and then if we would like to see exact total fees then we can expand that and then scroll down right here and we're going to be able to see exactly how much they're charging fees and slippage is set to one you can press on this little gear and you can change slippage if you're new to this I would leave default settings but for example if you are trying to purchase some kind of token that was just recently added and it has a lot of hype i would set the slippage tolerance a lot higher maybe 10 20 or maybe even 30 depends on demand and then as you can see here swap fees transaction fees agents fees and oil and then if we press on swap then this window is going to appear basically same details that we just looked and we can look at the additional details as well and then we'll press on confirm 
this pop-up is gonna appear it's taking nine ada from my wallet sign and then password confirm and that's it swap requested submitted and now we just have to wait until this process is gonna go through and we can press on done and as you can see in the top right corner there is one and this is keep spinning actually it just got done transaction was confirmed on a blockchain we can view an app or we can view and explore if you press on view an app right here this is basically going to be our list of transactions and at the moment that's still pending so we're going to have to wait until it's going to be verified and swapped on a blockchain and that's it transaction was completed and if we're going to open up our wallet again we're going to be able to see that we just received 48 copy tokens and then if we go back to website we can press on completed and right here we're going to be able to see every transaction that's being completed on the wing riders dex also one thing i need to point it out that for example if you decide to swap tokens make sure you have collateral in place because if you submit a transaction and then you change your mind and you would like to cancel to interact with a smart contract you have to have collateral in place and to do that you'll have to press on name your wallet press on this little icon in the top right corner and then press on collateral i already have five cardano set up as collateral and in your case if you don't have it's going to show you that you don't have any collateral five this is the minimum balance that you have to set up and then once you're done you can always remove and it's going to appear back in your wallet and then one more thing once you get done using any exchanges or any dApps that you're connecting your name your wallet with here's one thing i would recommend to do once you're done using go back here press on this little logo press on settings and then on whitelisted sites and then you're going to be able to see each site that's connected with your wallet just press on this little x and it's going to disconnect the wallet from connected site and this is pretty much it i'm going to leave a link for their media and for the wing rider website in the description below and if this video was helpful to you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe Thanks for watching.